Good afternoon you lovely people. I hope that I find you fit and well and um, doing well in the world, doing well in your life and uh, all feeling raring to go whether you're going to get into your acrylic pouring yourself or you're just going to sit and watch me make a mess. Um, that's all good with me. <laughs> so this hopefully is going to be a quick little video. I'm not sure if you've already seen a video or if I've put it out yet on these FX plaid. They're made by plaid um, effects. They're, I think they're made in the US. So they're definitely available in the US. Um, and, and now they're available to us in Australia from Capriol Shabby Chic or get them online. So I have mixed up these paints i'm not i haven't done my research and found out exactly what they can be mixed with i do know that they can be used for on plastic on glass and even on clothing they're supposed to be an exciting new product so i'm going to just do some tests if they're actually you know useful for acrylic pouring artist so what i just thought i would mix them with would be my acrylic flow medium. I'm just trying this, then I'll do another experiment on another video of maybe mixing them with my glue and water, and then I'll try flow trial, and I'll just try the different things. So I've already done a swipe in this. I'm not sure if you've seen it yet in this paint. And I have done a, um, a Dutch pour, a blow. So have a look at those videos if you've or well, this might be the first one I put out, I'm not sure. So I'm just trying them for the different methods. And what I've done with this one, the other two videos I had nothing added except the pouring medium. And I just thought, why not try the Boom Booster? It's a Boom Cell Enhancer now. Somebody asked me if it's silicone based, but apparently I've been told it's not silicone, it is um, alcohol based so it won't need the treatment that you have to do for silicone if you've got you know trying to get silicon off your canvas before you resin or glue it but I really need to find out that for certain haven't got my glasses so oh there you go it says uh, alcohol based so it isn't silicone it's alcohol based secret ingredient for boom boosting boom boosting so i'm just going to try on this 20 by 25 um canvas i'm going to do a flip and lip because i've done i've done a blow dutch pour <coughs> excuse me and i've done a swipe <coughs> excuse me so i'm going to do a um flip cup pour got this cute little coffee cup and I've got my paints mixed up with the pouring medium, as I said, and I've poured some of that Boom Booster in the, um, just one drop in each of the paint colors. So let's get this show going. I think if you look on the, um, on Capriol Shabby Chic site, you can see all the colors that are available. This one is, where's it gone? that one or that one that one uh it is called golden hour golden hour this one so they're very shimmery they're like a color shift paint i from what i'm seeing in the glass this one is obviously the bronze so this is done a little bit too thin for a flip cup really because i did a dutch pour with it earlier so uh, let's go to a darker color that was a pearl one they're very shimmery just like the um definitely just like the color shift it's the pearl i'm gonna add some of the purple why not that's shimmery very shimmery so i might put some of the gold back over the purple and then go to this green i'll read the color out for you in a second on the green and let's pull the rest of that in there see how we go with it um i want to pour some bronze in on that 
So this is basically, I've done three different tests out of the one paint so far. So I'm just seeing what, you know, what you can get out of it. And if anybody has used this paint and you've um, got anything further to add, let, in, let me know, please. I would be very grateful if someone can point me in the direction or why don't you use it for X, X Y, or Z. I'll be happy. Let's pour the rest of this purple in here. Let's get purple and green. Let's hope it doesn't stuff it up. Okay. Let's see. Okie doke. The green was. Where is it? Jolt Electro Chalk. Electro Chalk. Um, copper. So basically, all the colours are there on the site. Even um, if you're in Australia, I mean, you can still look at the colours. That one's Ray, Ray, a Gamma. Or, so yeah, they've got some other colours that I'll be using in different pores. Might as well use this up now. Um, and I'll just be trying different things with them. I'll, I'll even try the bloom technique and see if I can get anything blooming happening with it. I, I might just put a bit of Floetrol or a bit of pouring medi other pouring medium in that. Just see how it goes. Probably adding this dark might be too much. we will see it's only a it's a small canvas but that's why i use it all okay flip and limp so yeah that's probably the safest way to do it if you're not used to doing it i just normally give it the good old flip over so i'll just leave that there to go down just adding this bit to my edges I probably need um, more paint on here I might just add some white that I've got sitting there so yeah I want to see uh, what's the best method this can be used for so yeah please any pointers anyone or if you've used it be very interesting interested to give me uh, yeah give me some help with it because I'm sure, well, it's supposed to be a really exciting product that everybody's, you know, excited about. I know it can be put in an air sprayers and used um, for air, airbrush um, art. That's, I think, what it's really um, good for as well. And I think it's mixed. They actually put it in an air, air gun with, um, oh, what is it, window cleaner. Strange thing, but they do. So I've heard. So this is just my Montmart paint uh, studio acrylics mixed with Floetrol that I'd used earlier for the Dutch pour. So I'm going to just put this around and see if I can kind of create, let the paint come underneath the colour. And hopefully most of the, pour, the white will pour off first, hopefully. We just see. Izzy whizzy, let's get busy. So I'm going to flip it. Oh, actually, I'm going to burp it. Oh, my giddy eye. Look at that. And lip it. And lip it. And lip it. And lip it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at my cup. That is just stunning. Wowzers. Trousers. Come back here. don't want to lose you all. This is very... Remember, I it was very runny because I thinned it to do a dutch pour i should have done it the opposite way round. i should have had it thicker and then done my um flip cup and then done the dutch pour thinned it what was left and done the dutch pour but i didn't so you live and learn yeah yeah okay there's things happening go away fly I'm gonna go oh, get rid of those lovely cells. Oh no, come back. Come back. Wow. That is a nice flip cup, that one. That it is 
it's just got that real shimmer in the paint i don't know if you can see it but it's shimmery that will really pop with resin on it just gonna burst the air bubbles see what we get oh my goodness it's gone crazy i would presume that that's because it's got the boom booster in there so this boom booster you can get off cap from capriole shabby chic or there's a link there for the boom gel paint people that give you their stockists in the us and uk i believe so wow wowzers trousers look at that got some amazing selling in that well, I'll leave this one with you guys. And um, so I've done four different styles in that particular paint. So I'm absolutely sure there is so much more I could be doing with it. So please, please, if you've got any info, let me know. And I'll have a look on the plaid site in the US to see what they're using it for. But it's just shimmering. But obviously would have looked better with some negative space might try next a small flip and drag through negative space on a bigger canvas so you've only got a bit because I reckon it would be really um, spectacular look at this that's just I will leave this and then I'll leave it to dry and I'll take some photos and let you be um, decide what you think is it a goer or is it not oh, give me, try and give you some close-ups it's really gone to absolute cell mania not Tasmania cell mania so um, I would say that's just adding the very one drop of the boom booster so there you go the information for you all it's not the boom booster isn't silicon so you haven't got to rub it off so it actually should be perfect to use if you're resining, resining, resining products, is that the word? Resining, resining. Okay, silly Julie, I'll go and get a cup of coffee. I think I need one. Take care, you lovely people. Until tomorrow, I've got videos going out every day, so please join me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you so much. Bye for now.